everyone welcome back so we were solving a problem to design the spur gears in the first stage we have actually specified the gear dimensions by finding out the module on the basis of the uh, beam strength so once we have the value of module with us we calculated the dimensions now the next thing that we need to do is to check whether our design is correct or not so check for design safety this is what we have to check because at certain point we had assumed the value of velocity the beach line velocity as 5 meter per second because we did not have the value of beach circle diameter so we'll have to recheck all the parameters so we will need to check for design safety this is what we will be doing now so the first parameter that we will be calculating to check on the design safety will be the velocity v so velocity v we have to translate the rotational velocity into the pitch line velocity so pi d dash p np divided by 60 into 10 raised to 3 now the value of d dash p that has been already available it is 90 mm so pi just give me a second yes so pi d dash p is 90 the speed of or the rotational speed is 1440 rpm divided by 60 into 10 raised to again the autocorrect feature is causing us some trouble yes into 10 raised to 3 now on the basis of this you please put these values in the calci and please follow this methodology first of all the quantity to be found its formula values and then finally you arrive at the answer so the velocity that you get is 6.78 meter per second and our initial guess it was 5 meter per second so which means both of these velocities they are still less than 10 meter per second they are still less than 10 meter per second which means that our guessing about cv was right if our guessing would have been wrong then we would uh, we will have to go for redesigning the steps but presently it is not necessary so the velocity is available to us 6.78 meter per second on the basis of this refined velocity this corrected updated velocity we can calculate the value of cv equal to 3 upon Three, this no value of CV was uh, previously considered it was in the correct zone we will need to recalculate so it will be 3 upon 3 plus V so 3 upon 3 plus 6.78 so that is equal to 3 upon 9.78 I will not waste my time in calculating it using the calci I can directly put it in the calculator if the need is there then the value that we are concerned about like i said there is the basic logic which we will be following the basic logic on the uh, using which our entire design will be based the logic is that the value of your beam strength the beam strength should always be greater than the p effective or the beam strength if you want to calculate it will be equal to p effective multiplied by factor of safety now what we need to do here in this problem is that we will first of all calculate the value of sp we will also calculate the value of p effective pertaining to the conditions which are right now with us then we will on the basis of this we will be able to calculate the value of fs so we will compare the new value of fs with the value which is specified in the problem if the new value is more than the specified value then the design is fine if the new value is less than the specified value then design is incorrect design is not safe so first of all we will need to calculate the sp so we know the expression for sp will be equal to mb sigma p pi now the design logic is clear to us what is remaining is only the mathematical calculation the module is already known to us it is 5 mm the b the face width it is equal to 50 mm sigma b it is 200 megapascal and the value of y that you have calculated on the basis of number of teeth on pinion it is equal to 0 0.308 so you please put these values in the calculator i will also request that you write it down on the paper then you put in the calculator you can pause the video 
and then the value of SB that you arrive at it is 15,400 Newton so once this value is available to us we can check it for the safety SB is available but until now we do not have the value of P effective so how much is P effective or how do you calculate that P effective is equal to CSPD upon CV out of this we again have CS we have CV CV we just have corrected calculated but we do not have PT to determine PT from our basic understanding from our basic understanding to determine PT one second yes to determine PT we will need the value of MT and MT will be obtained from the value of power which is to be transmitted so first of all we will find out the MT so the value of uh, kw the power which is to be transmitted as we know it is equal to 2 by np mt divided by 60 into i'm sorry for this divided by 60 into 10 raised to 6 so we have the input values 10 kilobyte is the input 2 pi the power is transmitted at 1440 rpm torque which is to be transmitted divided by 60 into 10 raised to 6 so one equation one unknown we can directly arrive at mt the value of mt which is to be transmitted it is equal to 66314 you please calculate this in the calc once again 0.56 newton mm so MT is there, but we know that MT is nothing but a PT, the uh, tangential force multiplied by the pitch circle radius. So if we want PT, it is equal to 2 MT divided by TP dash. So let us now calculate this value. Just a second. Hmm. So let us now calculate this value. So PT equal to 2 times MT is available with us 66314.56 divided by DP dash which is the pitch circle diameter of the pinion MZP so that will be 90. So the value of PT that we have obtained from this expression it is equal to 1473.66 Newton now we needed the value of pt why we needed the value of pt because we want to put this value in the expression of p effective so now we will pick this value from here we will pick this value from here and we will put it in the expression of p effective here we will put it so it means that I will just calculate it in front of uh, SP. So P effective is equal to CS is 1.5. PT is 1473.76. Sorry, 66 divided by CV. The CV value is known to us. It is 3 by, just give me a second. It is 3 by 9.78. So CSPT upon CV, you please calculate this. The effective load will come in the range of 7,209.69 Newton. So now you have the value of P effective as well. Remember why we are doing all of this? We have a simple logic. Using that simple logic, we are just playing with this logic. So SB should be compared with the P effective. Right now by visual observation we see that SB is larger, P effective is smaller. But we need to check how larger is SB as compared to the P effective. So now using the expression that SB is equal to P effective into FOS, we will calculate one updated value of FOS or factor of safety FS. So now it implies that your SB upon P effective so it is equal to the value of SB is 15,400 
divided by 7209 I'm sorry so it is 7209.69 so when you calculate this the value of factor of safety that you arrive at it is equal to one second I forgot to write it here it is equal to 2.14 so this value is greater than 1.5 factor of safety which was mentioned in the problem statement pertaining to this observation uh, this value we can uh, put our remark as design is safe which means the parameters that we have calculated they are satisfying the conditions for the design so the design is safe on the basis of beam strength and the value of module that you have calculated is correct so the module should be equal to 5 mm this is the conclusion from this calculation then the next thing just in a second the next thing that is necessary is that we need to specify the surface hardness we need to specify the surface hardness for the gears so for that purpose we need to go into the understanding of wear strength that will be the next part of this solution so let us proceed towards it so to find out uh, this uh, surface hardness which means we are supposed to find out the value of k because we are supposed to know the value of surface hardness bhn we will get it from k the value of k we will get from sw which is wear strength and we know the formula for wear strength it is equal to bq dp dash into k so ultimately but then what about the value of sw for that purpose we already have the value of b we can calculate the value of q so the value of q which is the ratio factor it is equal to 2 zg divided by zg plus zp so how much uh, how much is zg it is equal to 72 divided by 72 plus 18 so 2 zg upon zg plus zp it will be equal to 1.6 so we have q now and then we also have dp dash as 90 mm b is 10 times module 50 mm and k note that in the problem statement itself they have mentioned that both the pinion and gear they are made up of the plain carbon steel 40 c8 this is one limiting case that we saw in our previous video that if both the gears are made up of steel at that point of time we can directly consider that k is equal to 0 0.16 into bhn upon 100 bracket squared so for that purpose but first we need the value of sw on the left hand side again our basic understanding basic equation comes into picture our basic understanding is that for the safe design sw should be greater than p effective i will be saying this statement again and again because it simplifies your design process it avoids all the complications so it means that if i want the value of p effect, uh, sorry sw it will be equal to p effective multiplied by factor of safety the factor of safety mentioned is 1.5 so the value of sw so the, uh, it will be equal to p effective which is 7209.69 multiplied by factor of safety which is 1.5 so this value is already available to us we will not waste our time in uh, calculating that we will directly substitute this value in here because we have left hand side and now we have right hand side so ultimately what it gives us is 7209.69 into 1.5 it will be equal to b which is 10 times module so 10 into 550 uh, q that we just calculated from here it is equal to 1.6 uh, d dash p it is equal to 90 mm and k the value of k as we discussed it is equal to 0 0.16 into b h n upon 100 bracket squared because both pinion and gear i'm sorry both pinion and gear they are made up of the same material that is steel so you calculate all the things and then ultimately you will arrive at the value of bhn 
the value of phn that you will arrive at will be approximately 306.40 or you can consider this value to be the rounding up to the next uh, digit it will be 310 so this is your final answer so you have utilized successfully the philosophy of beam strength as well as wear strength to calculate various parameters of gear such as module face width pitch circle diameters factor of safety velocity factor pitch line velocity velocity factor and finally specifying the surface hardness this was the basic numerical by which you can design this for gear more numericals we will solve in the upcoming sessions i hope you have understood this thank you